among us, and that means there are increased chances that you might run into one. Julie Rodriguez shows us some ways on how people, drivers, can stay safe. Illinois reported more than 14,000 car accidents with deer last year. Four of those were deadly. Rural areas are at higher risk with more than 70% of all car crashes being deer related. So what should you do if a deer is suddenly in your path? You have to make a decision and sometimes the decision is um, to hit the deer. Doug Burgess, owner of Burgess Driving School, advises this as sometimes the safest option. You know, we have to think about the consequences of our actions and if we have to swerve into oncoming traffic to avoid a deer, that may not be the best path for us or the safest path for us. The Department of Natural Resources lists safety practices to avoid these accidents if safe to do so. Be aware of your surroundings and use your high beams when appropriate. Use extra caution in deer marked zones and leave plenty of room between vehicles. If a deer is present, honk your horn in short bursts, flash headlights and alert others around you by tapping brakes or using your hazards. Now, what if you collide with a deer? Or make yourself noticeable, right? Hit your hazard lights, uh, let people know why you're stopped in traffic or that you are stopped in traffic. And then the second thing is call 911. Right, let them know what's going on, Let the, help them get out there. Don't try to move the deer, especially if it's still alive or, or if you're unsure, don't try to move it because um, they can be aggressive. If you hit a deer and it dies, it can be claimed and must be reported to the Department of Natural Resources within the first 24 hours. For more road safety or claiming information during deer season, we will have a link with this story on 25newsnow.com. In Peoria, Jolie Rodriguez, 25 News. All right, coming up next on 20.